Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. Now this will be for June 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay, we'll shuffle these. And then I've already pre-shuffled, so I'm just doing a couple in camera. And then we will start. So I'm doing a quick read for today. Um, it's been flat out, so I haven't had time to do the reads for this week. So yeah, I'm doing them quickly. <laughs> so at least there's something... Um, so I won't use as much tarot today, but I'll go back hopefully doing their readings like I would normally do next week. Okay, Cancer. Tell me about Cancer for June. Okay, so whatever's happening is happening now because you've got um, happening now, the situation event in question is occurring right now and you've also got changing. So the situation is in a state of flux, anything could happen. Two fives, so five, five, um, maybe worth, and you've got another five as well. So maybe Google angel number, five, five, five. Um, on the other deck, you've got the Crow and Venus, Goddess of Love in reverse, which is the Empress in reverse. So you possibly need to work on your codependency. Um, are you really happy? You know, maybe you've been trying to have kids. Maybe you haven't been successful with that. Um, maybe you're not feeling very abundant or having... Um, much pleasure, much love, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, definitely work on yourself. Codependence, codependency. With the crows, you know, you're thinking back about the past. Um, there, I feel like you need to really be observant. It could also crow can also be an omen. Um, there's a lot of mystery and. There could also be a new event happening or happening uh, with the crow two and two is four so fours are about your stability your foundation um so yeah maybe you're thinking back about something from the past okay so on the table let's have a look you've got the albatross the fish and balance in reverse and then you've got baby person of air cat and corset in reverse so the first one, albatross, I mean, good omen, as I said, the albatross is a good omen. Um, it's about monogamy, stamina, um, being calm. Um, and there is the baby, which is all about new beginnings, rapid growth, having a fresh start, unlimited potential, um, a new phase. You may even, there may even be a baby born, as I said, whether it's with you or whether it's in your family somewhere or someone close to you. Um, but yeah, it could also mean that as well. Tell me more. What are you manifesting? I feel like stop stalling, resisting, being indecisive about something, delaying something. Um, then we have the fish. 
which is number seven, or four and three, which is seven, um, which is about challenges and obstacles. Maybe there's something to do with money because you've got resources, finances, investments, money, income. Um, yeah, so uh, whether that's something that you is a, is a uh, challenge or an obstacle for you or whether it's for them, for your person. Now, your person could be an air sign, so it could be a uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, could be somebody who's very quick-witted, controlling, unemotional, sarcastic, cold, calculated, critical. Um, they could work as a teacher, lawyer, surgeon, um, journalist, a chef, you know, any of that. Um, Nine of Wands, you're feeling very worn out and kind of beaten down, feeling like you need to make a stand. You are resilient though. You have courage, you have strength. You need to, uh, what's the word, break the cycle, stop resisting the change, um, you know, learn that, put up your boundaries, you know, learn whatever you need to learn. Um, this person could be, as I said, manipulating, controlling, cruel. Uh, maybe they misuse their power. Maybe this person, um, their, as I said, their obstacle challenge is a lack of money. So whether you have more money than them, whether they don't have much, it doesn't even have to be money. It could just be like resources or material, you know, goods, all that sort of thing. Um, but I feel like you probably live a lot more lavishly than they do um you've got balance in reverse and the cat and the corset is in reverse so yeah you haven't put your boundaries up um i feel like you could be one of these prim and proper kind of people but you're not really holding it together um you need to stop being a people pleaser. And I reckon that came up last time for you guys. Um, I feel like that's more you and the cat is more them. Um, so whether you both love cats, they love cats, maybe they love fish, I don't know, with the fish. Um, but somebody's really not that interested um they're disengaged uh they see you you know when they want it when they want to um they look at things like not my problem um it's kind of like they have that attitude of it's my way or the highway so you know it's like you and them you know, you don't have your boundaries up, you're not um, holding it together, you know. I don't feel like you can be you, is what I just got. Um, and then the balance, there's a lack of balance. So uh, feeling complete, there's a feeling uh, like you don't feel complete, you don't feel centred. Um, it's like... two very different you know forces coming together um and trying to integrate it's about equality and going with the flow and there's a lack of all of that there's just a lack of balance in this situation as i said you're two very different people um i feel like it's more about them and what they can get Somebody's feeling like they um, are depressed or they have worry, fear, anxiety, you know, lack of sleep, obsessive thoughts, you know, all those sort of things. Um, 
I feel like they they saw you as like, or you saw them as the king of cups. You saw them as somebody that would be, you know, older and, you know, very uh, emotionally balanced and stable, uh, stable, stable, wise, you know, intuitive. You know, you saw them as being that kind of person. But I don't feel like they were. I feel like they were more like the, the knight of swords. They weren't even a king. They were more like the Knight of Swords, somebody who looks around, has a short attention span. Um, you can't convince this person when, you know, if you said the sky is blue and they said, no, it's green, you couldn't convince them otherwise. Um, they could also be impulsive, unfocused, restless. Um, you may go through a period where there's no communication or not even a healthy communication. Um, and it's funny that in that picture, you've got birds as well. So is the albatross more of not a good omen, but something where somebody has baggage and burdens and... regret and guilt hmm six of pentacles in reverse someone's giving to other people it's a one-sided relationship as i said i feel like you're giving to this person i feel like you're the one that's got these resources and you know as i said they're taking you for what they can get Anyway, that's what I have um, for you. Um, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, and I will catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.